Hey there. So there's quite a lot of people asking how I made this section scrollable in, in my app. So I decided to make, uh, make a video about it. Um, so let me just open it up here. So um, this was kind of my original structure that didn't really work. Um, it, it has like quite a few columns because I wanted to make it like nice and with the uh, spacing and all that stuff. Um, and then uh, like I tried to figure out and was slowly removing some of the sections. And basically in the last one, I ended up with this. So it's just a container. Um, sorry, let's get back to, this is the app bar. This is the list view. So immediately after it's directly a list view uh, and that has one container that has uh, one column and the rest is just the sections inside of it. Uh, I still uh, need to solve this part where I have this description and this uh, section doesn't dynamically expand based on the amount of text. So this is still a challenge that I'm uh, looking to solve. But uh, if you have like a directly after app bar, list view, container, and then the column and the content within that column, that uh, should work. Uh, and if I'm guessing someone will also will be asking how I did this upper part. So inside this app bar, I, uh, as you can see at the top, um, I think I've at bottom section, I think some of these things were turned on and expanded like the toolbar height. Um, I think I played around a little bit with, with all of this. Um, so it, it, it had, it has now more space. I think it's especially the toolbar height. Um, and then I somehow managed to place in a container with a column and then like one row for, as you can see the title and the, and the drop down menu. Um, and then, uh, the rest is the chart, the custom uh, built chart that, that I've built like a custom uh, widget for. Uh, and that's it. Uh, that, that's kind of it. That's kind of it. Uh, let me know if you have any extra questions.